What is up, everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. Trying to get myself situated, guys. Got a review for you. Let's get into it. All right, I'm excited to check this one out. Didn't even know it existed, but thanks to Kevin, Lefty EDC, and the Pass Around team, I'm able to actually check this one out. We're going to be looking at the Concept AGI. Not exactly sure what that stands for, but we're going to dive into the review. What we're going to do is we're going to do some size comparisons, profile, weight, checking it all out and then we'll jump into thoughts and impressions let's kick it off with the size comparisons here it is against the devo knives growler pretty comparable to your paramilitary your para three i was gonna call it the paramilitary three full naming it out here today you can see this is a small gents knife uh very small carry i think this is going to be an interesting one to check out for sure here it is against the para three lightweight you can see it is just a little bit bigger than the para three lightweight and then we'll bring out the manix two lightweight for the full size comparison don't worry the shaman's around i just happened to finish this assembly today and it was on the desk so i was like why not use it why not use it i'm really excited about the build um so it is definitely more smaller gents knife so let's do the profile comparison against these smaller knives we'll kick it off by comparing it against the growler which has slightly contoured scales versus the flat scales and um titanium back uh scale here and they're actually pretty comparable even with the contouring pretty comparable how those two look and then we'll compare it to the lightweight and the lightweight and the AGI are comparable as far as thickness goes. And then carrying it in pocket, guys. I know my hand's probably a little crooked there. It is definitely it's just going to be shorter. Even with that pocket clip, you have a little bit hanging out. You don't you don't have too much more than what you have on these other two guys that stick out. Actually, I would say the growler looks like it carries way, way deeper. Let's check out the weight on the AGI. Make sure you guys are subscribed down there. Make sure your notification bell's turned on so you don't miss any alerts. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel that way. And watching to the end definitely helps as well. So you got a two ounce knife, guys. Again, this is definitely more gent size um, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and kick it down to the garage and check out the performance for the cutting. All right, guys, let's see what this one is about. Bear in mind, this is a pass around knife. I will strop it before I send it off to the next reviewer, but let's just see what it looks like. Nice, very slicey geometry. Not quite sure how many people it's been through, but if this is VG10 Damascus, that's not too surprising. Usually those do really well. Um, it is way too small for me, but I'll cover that in the ergos. But it is a slicer, guys. Damascus looks like it's holding up well there. Let's see here. Yep, feels good. Feels good. That was uh, the paper folding there. This is really thin paper. And it actually might have a spot. Let's check it real quick. All right, I did just a few strops. I didn't do too much since it felt like it was just a little blemish. And it's still, is it, where is it catching out here? Let's see here. It's so hard to tell on this type of paper. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It might have actually been a little bit of tape. I'm going to kick it back up to the desk. All right, guys. So you can see this is a nice little slicer. Very impressive. Thin blade stock. I believe the AGI is used in VG10 Damascus for this steel, which is very nice looking. The action on it is pretty good. Small knife, lightweight blade. It's going to be a shaker, not a guillotine. Um, my complaint right out the gate is going to be that flipper tab. It is really small, and I have found that you can't light switch it because it doesn't have any jimping. I would have liked to have seen the jimping on there. The positive is that without the jimping, it's almost like it's not there at all. It's like a little finger guard for you. It is a three finger knife for me. The chunky nature of it does make it easy to grip onto. This to me would be um, a gents knife to take out on a date. It would be the size that you would want for something you would want to carry fifth pocket or 
putting into a pouch. If you like to pouch carry to get a bunch of little compact gear into one spot and just carrying that, this is going to be really good for that. That shred carbon fiber, very nice looking guys. They did a good job. And then they did the black stone wash on the titanium side. So you can see this is all titanium here. Um, I am feeling those screws pick up. So I think it's steel. Maybe not. Maybe there's barrels in there because it's not connecting directly like that connects directly to that pivot. So you definitely are picking that up, but you're not getting that from the screws, but there is something picking up. So there could be underneath. Maybe they have the barrels in there being metallic or steel. <laughs> so it's picking up on that metal. You do have no relief cuts on the titanium, I don't think. Yeah, no, it's no relief cuts on the titanium. You have a steel lock bar insert. They did leave a little bit there for it to be chamfered. I have found, like, for me, it's really hard to uh, slide it across. It's actually easier, believe it or not, to kind of hit it a little bit on the 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 thumbnail and the thumb and just push it in there to get it to close and then i have no issues lifting up and closing it but for me i guess because i have the larger hands and i just slid off of that um flipper tab again it is not an issue to to push it over but sliding over i I think because i'm pushing the lock bar down into the knife that i'm having an issue with that all in all this is a cool little knife um, you got a titanium pocket clip, you know, it's, it's very well built, nice materials, T8 in the pivot, but everything else is T6, which tends to be with all the concepts. Um, I think they're one of the few companies still out there using T6 hardware everywhere, except in the pivot and the pivot it's T8, but it is a cool little knife. Um, it is coming in at uh, around 140 bucks. You know, for that, um, I, I think it's it's pretty good value. I would recommend the up and coming Devo Nip. Um, I forget what they're calling it though, but this one here is 199 S90V instead of VG10, and then you get the carbon fiber throughout, titanium throughout, and then you get the steel lock bar in there. For, you know, fifth pocket companion carry, if that's what you're looking at the AGI for, or a little gent knife that's unassuming, but they're getting ready to come out with the aluminum scale version of it. I, I can't remember if they're doing 154CM. I want to say 154CM in aluminum, and I think that's going to be very competitive uh, for this price. I want to say that they're targeting $100, but don't hold me to that. I'm not 100% sure. And then, you know, for 140 bucks, if you are looking for something that's gent and unassuming, I really do like the Hedgehogs. The TPK exclusives are very nice. They're M390 and an assortment of handle materials and code JDTPK will save you $5 on those because they are exclusives. But I do like them, very comparable in size, but it's not as fidgety. So that's why I did the uh, Devonaz Nip because I feel like that does give you that fidget factor and they're getting ready to release a budget line that looks very nice. The aluminum coated aluminum, I think they're doing a Cerakote. It looks really, really nice. I haven't handled it yet. That's just looking at the looks, but I have handled the nip. And you know, if you're looking for something that is fidgety, um, this one here gives you multiple means of deployment. You got that flipper tab and you got that opening hole and that opening hole surprisingly works really well for that thumb flick. I slip off of that pocket clip all the time because of the larger hands. <laughs> Let me try to grip it a little bit better, but you can thumb flick it. Uh, I just have large hands, so I have a little bit of an issue with that thumb flick. But again, everything else on here works really nice. And again, I do prefer that jumped flipper tab, even if you want to light button, uh, push button, <laughs> light button versus light switching, this will let you do that. And then I like this one because I'm able to get all four fingers on here, contoured scales, very ergonomic. And then for about that same price, you're getting M390 hollow ground with a Warncliffe blade shape. That's very utilitarian, very clean, open and close. 
fun walk and talk nice long pool on there so i really like those two as an alternative but i can't say don't get this it does feel well made it just favors slightly smaller hands in my opinion I get it. It's a gents knife. It's not meant to be a big old bulky knife. It's something uh, very unassuming to carry, but just the access to the lock bar, a little tight for me. I don't love this flipper tab. And, um, you know, overall, I think the design is nice, but the execution for me has a few things that are drawing it back too much for me personally to want to pick one up. But it is built well, and again, if you have medium to large hands, this will probably work better for you than it did for me. What are your thoughts on the Concept AGI? Do you like this? Not really your style. Again, it is a smaller knife, so I try to you know, do an array of things to, that would appeal to all people, even if it isn't something that necessarily is for me per se. Shout out to everyone out there that made it this far into the video. You help the algorithm thank you so much make sure you're looking down there to like and subscribe don't forget to do that for me if you would please if you enjoyed the video leave a comment and let me know what you thought about this one or if you have any questions or just to say hi i appreciate that too and it helps again so thank you special shout out to all the channel members out there thank you guys i appreciate that extra support you're giving by being a member i hope all of you have a fantastic week until next time peace